by law, I just did a service and you can't like technically leave. You know, I can call the cops. So I'm in Florida right now, where luckily for my One Star Review series, it's a place that's open for business no matter what. And while in Florida, I, uh, you know, want to tap into the scene, you know, I want to immerse myself within the culture. I want to play the part. We're going all the way. Frosted tips, baby. Okay, let's see what we have here. There's uh, quite a few options. People in Florida seem to really take their hair quite seriously. So I just came across Studio 209 Beauty. They appear to operate out of their home. They uh, have some nice chairs. So let's just see what the uh, reviews say. Immediately after I left that place, I had burning and itching on my scalp. Sabrina is extremely slow and she keeps her clients waiting forever. Plus, she's a horrible colorist. I told her I did not like and I wanted the way I told her. And she told me she had no time and I had to pay her or she was gonna call the police. She enclosed me in her little room. LOL, really? I certainly feel as if it's my duty to try to get to the bottom of that. Um, and hopefully it doesn't land me in this um, small room. But um, sign me up. I was excited for this new upgrade to my style. With so many truly iconic looks coming from this area of the country, I knew I was in the right hands. However, these hands were attached to the arms of a business who has received many one-star reviews. Blizzard. How you doing? Hi, I'm Taji. Hi, hi, nice to meet you, I'm Sabrina. So nice to meet you. You wanna come on back? Um, sure, thank you. Okay, great. And we'll be right in here, have a seat. How did you get into the world of hair? I'm um, basically, uh, I've been doing hair for about 25 years, and uh, I followed my mom's footsteps. I'll show you all the rooms. There used to be bedrooms. This room is the only one that has a window that opens. That used to be the kitchen. Super nice, but no one does live here. It's um, No, it's just all just, um, business. You know, inverted it. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. After a short tour of their impressive house conversion, it was time to get to business. But from the reviews I had read, I was naturally nervous. Maybe I'll just okay. use the restroom really quickly yeah, right before ahead. my consultation. Thank you. With an empty bladder and a full heart, I was ready for my treatment. So tell me a little bit about your hair and tell me what you want to do. Being in Florida, you know, I thought I would just try something new, you know. Some wow to it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Maybe somewhere like, I like this guy, Okay. you know? Yeah. And it's kind of subtle, but then again, I like this one. Okay. So maybe like almost meeting halfway. Heavy, heavy but yeah, okay. Um, exactly. That feels nice. Yeah. With some reviews hinting towards a lack of experience, I wanted to ask Sabrina directly about her credentials to set the record straight. Did you study hair or you learned from your mom? Or what no, I went to beauty school. Oh, you yeah, did? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it took me about eight months to graduate. I went morning and night all day just to get it all, you know, just get it done and get working, get working and basically try and, you know. For just, sure. Yeah, because practice makes perfect. So um, what's Mix the... Mix up a little bit of color for you. So you're you. mixing some color. What, what goes into that? A little bit of bleach, honestly. A little bit of bleach. A little bit of bleach. Is that some peroxide or what yeah, is that? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, peroxide. Nice. Immediately after I left that place, I had burned an itch on my scalp. Right on. I'm curious what I look like. My treatment was underway. There had been some wild accusations describing how Sabrina deals with allegedly difficult customers. I was curious to find out some more. Do you ever have any like difficult clients at any time? Or how, how is it dealing with the people? Well, you know, just it, you can't 
please everybody, but you try to do as best as you can to have a, a great visit. No, I mean, I even like did a search, you know, before I came in and I, you know, read through a few of the reviews. Um, something oh, right over here. Totally. But that's okay. I'm Take your gonna... time. We'll get back to that. No, oh, yeah, I might have it over here. Okay. For sure. I'm going to put you into the dryer now. Thanks. I feel like I'm about to go off to outer space or something. Right? Blast off. It's gonna look great. With my last attempt foiled, now I would try for a second launch into Sabrina's one-star reviews. But yeah, I mean, I even, you know, checked out some of the reviews before coming in. I was wondering Did maybe I could, you know, that... ask you a couple questions about that, you know, kind of give you a chance to speak, you know, for yourself. Oh, yeah, of you course. Know, one review I saw kept coming up. People were claiming um, difficulty, I guess, with the appointment time. They were saying they were kept waiting, this, this kind of thing. Someone claimed they felt um, it was disrespectful and rude towards them even. Right. Uh, and no, it can be because I know as a customer, like, I feel like customer service, it should be number one but you know you can't please everybody so sometimes yeah there's been some instances you know nobody's perfect but we try as best as we can you know to you know do the best that we can this made sense but there were certain reviews that had me really concerned mentioning people allegedly being held captive against their will um i think i saw two different reviews where someone claims, I guess, they expressed they weren't happy with the results, and then they were kind of just, I guess, in a situation where um, they were told, you know, you have to pay or we're gonna call the police, and they were almost felt, um, they felt threatened, and almost like then they ended up in some sort of like small room they, they a couple people referenced, you know, um, like almost captive. Captain, no, like, um, I remember I think there was one lady, actually a couple ladies, you know, you think that they're happy with their hair, but then they like just storm up and try to leave the salon, you know? And I'm like, what are you trying to like leave? By law, I just did a service and you can't like technically leave. You know, I can call the cops. So that's what I told them. She was gonna call the police and she enclosed me in her little room. Yelling me, you pay me or I call the police. And I never told her that I was not going to pay. And she was like, oh my God, like, no. Like, and I was like, what are you talking about? The haircut is perfect perfection. That was one. Another lady with the color technique thing, like she had long hair, it was like dark hair. Well, of course the color is going to be different at the root. So at the end, they're like, oh, my hair was two different colors. And then they post it on the review when I'm like, I try to tell you what you needed to do to do your hair. I don't know, just to think about the things that the people, like, bitch about really don't make sense to me. You run into some people that just, I don't think they're happy with themselves, you know, because I typically wouldn't do that at a salon. You just don't show your ass like that. Totally, yeah, yeah. I mean, I... And they're probably getting free stuff all the time because I had a friend that put me on the spot like that one time. I couldn't believe it. We're in a restaurant and she didn't want to pay for her food. I know there's people out there that are probably the same way at different salons. But yeah, no, that must be very difficult, I feel like, to keep everyone happy, you know, with hairstyles, you know, yes. everyone has different and hair. and I have a reputation be... here, you know, I have a reputation, of course, you know, I have my mom's salon, and, you know, I yeah. want to always do the best I can to um, hold that, you know, what she's been building for so long. I even thanked my mom the other day, too. I said, Mom, you know, I have everything because of you. She put food on our table, and I'm doing the same thing for my kids, and that's all that matters to me. You've made this a uh, very pleasant experience. Thank you. Awesome. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Letting us film in here, you know, come in. And yeah, no problem. Really Anytime. appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I like your shoes. The bleach had done its work. And I think that we made great use of the lengthy process by settling some scores. So now it was time to see the results. The energy is good, right? You Thank you. I promise I will be paying you too. I can, I can guarantee I'm good for it. Got the company card in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Looks uh, super cool. I'm like blown away by this. 
Thank you. See, you came to the that right place. Is, you know, that smells amazing too. Oh my. I want to eat it. Are you? you made me feel really good today. Yeah. You're so kind. You made yeah. me feel really good today. Thank you, Sabrina. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you yeah, again for welcome. having us here. Yeah, it's you're been, welcome. It's been amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Great. All right, bye. I'm just All right, bye. Head off nice into to meet the you. Um, sun with my uh, fun hair. I entered Studio 209 with the expectation of a technician with a lack of knowledge of color and an alleged hostile environment if you do not like the results of your hair. I was met promptly by Sabrina with a warm welcome. She was very attentive during my consultation and paid close attention to my hair desires and kept me updated on every step of the way. To be honest, I was in fear of potentially not liking the results, which could end up in altercation and potential police involvement. But. She made me feel comfortable and opened my eyes to the reality that some customers purposefully act up in order to get a free service. Sure, it has a rougher than average aesthetic, so if you were expecting a state-of-the-art fancy facility, this might not be the right place for you. However, if you want to feel good and be in a family-run environment, then this is the place for you. I felt right at home. To my great happiness, I did end up loving the results, and she assured me I could be in touch with any questions or concerns within the coming weeks. So thank you, Sabrina, for helping me accomplish the new Florida look of my dreams. Someone even said I look like this band, B44. It's like this boy band. We were watching some of their videos. They definitely have an on-camera presence about them. 